I've never done a record like this. I've certainly improvised uh, on my own over the years, and certainly during the pandemic, uh, it's something I've been doing every day. And so, sort of turns out I was kind of training for this recording. But no, I've never, never done a record like this. It was very much an experiment. So when you recorded these, I understand three different locations, three different pianos, you improvised it all, but did you have any idea what kind of piano it was going to be going into the session? Uh, I knew what the locations were going to be. I knew one was a church. Uh, I knew one was a closed down hotel and one was a home studio but I'd never been to any of those places and never played on any of those pianos. You've played at venues throughout the world on different instruments. You play different instruments, but I'm curious, you know, going in and playing on a piano you never played before, like as nerdy as I'm going to sound, I know instruments have their own energy. Uh, How do you feel like that impacted the sound of, you know, the album? Uh, You know, in my travels over the years, you stay at many different places, old hotels, uh, do shows and, you know, conference halls. And I'll always keep my eye out for an old piano that's, you know, often tucked away in a corner at the end of a dark hallway. And I find they always have this energy, like they're just sitting there. They haven't been played and I, I love playing them. And I find I'm inspired by the energy of whether it's an old hotel or you know, a dark banquet room or whatever it might be. And so uh, when Mark asked if I'd like to do this record, um, I suggested that, why don't we find sort of haunted places that have pianos in them? Um, But because it was the pandemic, we couldn't really travel around um, as much as we may have liked to. And so we chose three locations in Quebec. And I'm just so used to playing different pianos wherever I may go that I wasn't really um, intimidated by that part of it. You improvise this all on a piano you never played before in a location. When you went into it, did you have any kind of inspirations, any melodies, any, any notes when you went into the session, or did you get inspired by that piano, by the room, or were you trying to draw on other things and then play them in that moment? Uh, there were a couple ideas that I perhaps had been singing in my head beforehand. Uh, you know, it was just part of a meditation really like I'd ask where the location was and then I would walk for an hour or so to the location and I very much you know we may have said hello how are you and that was about it and then I sat down and played because I didn't want other things in my head I didn't want to talk about bands or sports or the pandemic you know I just really wanted to connect and uh, I think it turned out uh, well because it's it's just raw and pure and um, hopefully takes people to that same place where I was trying to be kind of dreamlike peaceful relaxing uh, something you can drift drift off to you've been playing piano which seems like forever do you remember the first song you actually learned on the piano uh, you know, the first record I ever bought was Magical Mystery Tour when I was, I think, five. And uh, there was a song on the record called uh, Your Mother Should Know. I think I, I learned that. Do you know that one? No. Let's all get up and dance to a song that was a hit before your mother was born. Though she was born a long, long time ago. Your mother should know, your mother should know. So that was one of the first ones. I couldn't play it that that well, but 